All right, fellas. So today I'm going to be installing this Franklin one horsepower deep well convertible pump. Uh, I've actually did a little short video on this well where the pump was tearing up. The uh, bearings were going out on it, it was making a loud noise. And that was a one of those Chinese knockoff Utilitech pumps. Um, what I really like about these Franklins is this is a very robust pump in a very small package. It's a heavy little booger, but it's so versatile because you can uh, switch the ports. Like say you want your outgoing line on this side or you want the top. You can do that. I prefer to come out the side. That way you have a very convenient prime port right on top. Um, the only drawback is that these convertible Franklins don't come with the ability to be vertical on well. So you can't put a case adapter, a straight case adapter, and mount the pump vertically. I mean, technically you could, but they don't have their own case adapter that mounts up here. They only have a right angle type. So you can put it a right angle directly on the well this way. But then you have to support the pump where it's mounted on the well. And that's usually very difficult to do. Um, but the other thing is that this pump doesn't come with a regulator. So not having a regulator can be an issue sometimes. Not in this case because I'm only, I'm only dealing with a 20 foot water level. So that's not a problem. It's, it doesn't need a regulator. It's gonna pump just fine. It can actually pump shallow well if need be. Uh, let's go look at the other pump. Got it almost cut out. I'm gonna put this one in. All right, here's the other Utilitech. We'll read it on there. But yeah, this pump's only like three years old. And I've already gotten it cut loose here. And I thought I had the bolts loosed enough. Apparently not. Take them all the way off. And like I said, this little bl bladder tank's fine. It's aired up. It's doing good. No problems there. Is there a third bolt in them? Did it just come around? Right yeah. There we go. Get this thing out of here. So when you look at these pumps side by side, they're, you know, size comparison is relatively the same. Uh, that's a big drawback about these uh, Chinese pumps is the pressure switch is mounted on the side and it's hard to deal with. You know, it's a whole lot easier when you're working on a pressure switch. Great, I gotta take that little screw out. Um, I don't like these covers either with the extra screw. You should just be able to do this and lift it off. Um, but yeah, it's a lot harder to work on like that. And usually they come with a, a weird connector there that breaks, and that's, that's one thing I had to do two years ago. I fixed that and got her running. And uh, it lasted two more, two more years. I, I, it's, it's almost a little miracle there. And as you can see, it wasn't under a bad condition. Those, those points are barely even tarnished. So it was running good, but why'd the bearings go out? Uh, it's because it's, it's just junk. It can't run a reasonable amount of time under a good condition. You can't kill this pump. I've seen so many of these Franklins. They're, they're still fairly new in the market, maybe, you know, five or ten years, um, that they're being widely used in our area. But I haven't seen any problems with them. Tank gets worn along, it's fine. It place a capacitor, good to go. Just like the old Stay Right pumps. You know, when any problems you have with them, they're easy to rebuild. And heck, most of the time, you don't have to rebuild them. It's, you, I've never replaced an impeller or a diffuser. I've had to fool with anything like that. It's just designed really well. Um, and then if you do have to change a motor or something, the, the pump plate's really easy to get to. Being designed like this with just a four bolt directly on. And then you got a front plate you can take loose. That's, that's pretty neat. That's not a common design on any other pumps that I know of. But I haven't taken one of them apart. Now, maybe in the future I might do that if I ever get one that's in bad straits. Not likely anytime soon, though. All right, let's get this pump glued in. All right, got it hooked back up. Turn it on. Right. There we go. Yeah.
Yeah. And there we go. And it hooked up.